all right so in today's session we'll be looking at another type of monte carlo technique used for estimating bias and standard error called jackknife the jackknife is basically a type of monte carlo method used for estimating the precision of sample statistics by using subset of available data how does this differs from bootstrapping boost this um the jackknife basically requires n replications to estimate the bias and standard error and the sampling is done without replacement however with the bootstrapping it requires several hundred replicate to estimate the bias and the standard error and also the sampling is done with replacement so this is how jackknife differs from the bootstrapping that we have just looked from our previous session right so let's look at the steps or the how the algorithm work on the jackknife. So we let X be an observed random sample and define the ith jackknife sample to be the subset of X that leaves out the ith observation. This is basically going to define the leave one out sample, which I'm going to demonstrate with some data set so that you can get a clear picture of how jackknife works. Then the next step is to compute the ith jackknife replicate for i's running from 1 to n. Then we can also look at the uh, compute the mean of the jackknife estimate from the lib1 out sample, right? So let's demonstrate this with some example. Assuming we have this data set and want to look at the correlation be between height and age for 10 observations. Um, we had from the observed sample the estimate is given to be minus 0 0.2860 um, how does jackknife works with this data set first of all we pick the for the first replication or for the first experiment is going to leave the first observation out and it's going to compute the correlation or the estimate for the remaining observation that gives us this for the second experiment, it's going to leave the second observation out and it's going to compute the estimate or the correlation for the remaining observation that is being stored here. So it does it for the third um, replicate, which is going to leave the third observation out and it's going to compute the estimate or the correlation for um, for for the remaining observation. This basically defines the leave one out sample so it does it up to the end replication here we are we have 10 that's why it ends at 10 so it's going to leave the 10th observation out and it's going to compute the correlation for the remaining what observation and that's being stored here once it is done um we can look at the mean right so this is basically the mean um which is to sum all these jackknife estimates and divide by the sample size to get a mean once we get a mean we can look at um, the standard error right um, the standard error is um, basically the square root of sorry the standard error is going to give us the square root of is giving us the square root of n minus 1 divided by n and then we take the square deviation of the jackknife estimate with minus the mean of the jackknife estimate from the leave one out sample to get the um, standard error for the jackknife estimate right so this is basically the um, formula for the how to compute the jackknife estimate or standard error then the next step is to look at the bias the bias is defined as shown below right so this the, um, the formula for the bias that is n minus one we multiplied by the difference between the mean estimates from the jackknife estimate and the mean and the um the estimate from the observed sum that's theta heart right to get the um bias of the jackknife estimate so um, this is basically a simple um, algorithm for estimating bias and standard error when you are using jackknife i i hope you stick and stay as we demonstrate how to do this in r